you find yourself sluggish or unmotivated in the workplace? Do you look at others and envy them for their positivity and productivity? Have you ever wondered why some people seem to be able to accomplish so much in the day to day lives? Hi, I'm Evan, and today I'm going to give an insight into the pathway to a more productive and healthy lifestyle. More specifically, the positive implications of working out and how it can improve your life. The CDC is quoted as saying, Regular physical activity is one of the most important things that you can do for your health. This statement can be taken many ways, but the message rings true. Many medical organizations such as Medical News Today or the Mayo Clinic have written extensive papers on the various physical, mental, and emotional benefits that regular physical activity impacts on our bodies. Inactivity of the body can be scientifically linked to more than 40 chronic illnesses and fatal breakdowns from within. By working out regularly, you can reduce your chances of suffering a stroke, heart attack, being diagnosed with clogged arteries, and many more life-threatening issues. As well as that, working out consistently can drastically increase your life expectancy, which is just one of the many health benefits that it can have. By staying physically fit, you are not only impacting your life, but the life of others around you. If you are not physically fit, you could be putting others' lives in danger. Take this video for example. Caught on camera, a baby stroller heading directly towards a busy street and the amazing rescue, that awful moment captured by a surveillance camera. This happened at a car wash in Hesperia on an extremely windy Monday. The baby's mother, desperate to catch her baby, falls twice and seemingly frozen in fear, is unable to move. Good Samaritan was able to stop the stroller just in time within a few feet from a busy street. This woman was not in well enough shape to be able to prevent her baby from rolling into oncoming traffic. Luckily, there was a bystander nearby who was able to save the life of this child, but this is a perfect example of potential dangers that lie to other safeties when you aren't mindful about your activity levels. The mental implications working out present are staggering. Studies show that people who work out regularly have significantly lower levels of anxiety and stress, and are significantly more productive in their lives. They are more likely to not only succeed in their goals, but excel past them and better their lives. To prove my points further, we interviewed three local students on the topic. So we're joined by Oak Park football star Jack McLean. Young Maz here, he's a slot back on the Oak Park Raiders football team. By right. Kendrick Costales, nose tackle on the Oak Park Raiders. Best athlete I've ever met. We're going to ask him some questions about working out and how it affects this season. So, uh, starting out, how often do you work out, Jack? Well, normally during the football season, I work out like three times a week. Not during the football season, I try to work out every day during the week, not on the weekends, so though. I take my weekends off. Uh, during off season, it would probably be about five times a week. Uh, during the season, it would probably be about three around there. During the season, I usually like to work out during the week, say like three to four times. And during the off season, I like to go at least like six times a week, no, five, six times a week, and have like a few days of rest. And uh, do you feel like you notice a difference since you started working out as to before then? Oh, 100%, 100%. Like you gain so much more muscle, you just feel so much more loose on the field, and uh, it really just improves the play in general. Uh, absolutely, it uh, really affects my football play, definitely. Uh, makes me a bit stronger on the field, definitely increases my speed, you know. Uh, that just makes me a better athlete in general. Uh, it really affects me. I'm a receiver, so when I go to block someone, uh, got to be strong, got to push them forward, and, you know, just got to be strong on the ball. So, yeah, I see a lot of, a lot of in changes. Um, I actually do. Um, back when I didn't work out, um, I was on the football field, I'd be like gas, breathing really hard. Um, every push that I got, I felt like I was like not giving it, um, not like pushing back as much. And then after I started working out, um, first of all, I could see that like I felt more athletic. Like as I was running, I wasn't breathing as hard. Um, I could actually like see my muscles in my body and I'm like getting more push off like some of the guys. What specific workouts do you kind of use to, you know, get ready for the season and build up? Are you muscle? fucking with me right now? <laughs> I like to do a lot of like plyometric workouts, so it uh, goes more with like sports. So like a lot of sled push, it's good for the legs, you know, it's good to push people around out there. You got, got a lot of different 
bench press is really good to get that explosion through your arms, big push, you know. And yeah, that's about it. But there's definitely other workouts, but uh, those are the ones that stick out to me. Uh, probably more like calf workouts a lot on leg day, you know, for jumping and stuff like that, or lots of chest, breaking off press and blocking. How much time do you get in the off season to train? In the off season, you get like, I don't know, like five months, six months in the off season, but you're still playing football all the time, just not as regular as when you're playing with the team. You're not practicing as much, but yeah, five months, six months, you got a lot of time to get ready for the season. And do what you can, 10 weeks is the season, so. Just go, go through it. To what? Like how long is our off season? Uh, how long is it? Like eight months? Oh, about that, yeah. Yeah, around eight. Okay. Do you notice a general increase in your energy, like when you are working out, as opposed to when you're not? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I I feel way better when I'm working out. Like after a workout, I feel great. Uh, working out is great for mental health. You know, great for a lot of things. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I find if I don't work out, uh, I don't have as much energy throughout the day. I don't feel like I can do as much, but yeah, it really gets me going. Mm -hmm. Would you work out if your coach didn't tell you to, or you had a bunch of pressure from everyone else? Absolutely. You want to be the best you could be on the field and off the field. And yeah, working out, just, you don't want to be worse than the team. You don't want to be like in the middle. You want to stand out. I want to stand out. So that's why I'm in the gym, try to get better. I get better on the field. Yeah, yeah, I just love it. I like being in the weight room. I love just lifting weights, getting better, improving my play on the field. If you stop working out, do you think that your skills on the field would decline? Um, I think if I stopped working out, I would see like a very big like decline in my like performance because I'm not training my body to like move as much weight or like have as much power as I'm supposed to be having. And I feel like that would like rapidly dec decline my like my skill and like my overall performance on the field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At least a lot of <laughs> Do you feel that practice in general is a more enjoyable experience now that you've been working out consistently and you're in a better shape? Um, yeah, I've honestly seen that. Um, from last season during the fall, I felt um, during practice, I was losing a lot of one-on-ones. Um, during team, I was getting like pushed around a bit. I would have a few good plays, but um, since the spring season has come and uh, come from the off season and I've been working out, I felt as though in like my one-on-ones, I've been doing pretty well, like uh, doing a lot of moves. And during team, I'm actually get, getting in my spots. I'm actually like making tackles. I feel like I have a better performance. So do you think kind of coinciding with that, that your mental health in general has mm -hmm. improved with the working out? Um, I think my mental health has inc uh, improved greatly because if I wasn't, I'd just be like sitting at home, you know, eating a lot and like just like watching TV. And I think like getting out of the house and like, doing something like productive, like really like ups, uplifts my uh, mental health during the day. Yes, yeah, I would, 100%. It's clear that on paper, working out has many benefits, but to unlock these benefits to their full potential, you have to know what you're doing when you go to work out. Working out can only help you if you do it in the right way and in moderation. Working out improperly can be very dangerous, as putting certain parts of your body under intense strain can cause to injury in those areas. It is important that before you start working out consistently, you do your research and figure out what schedule and routine would work perfectly for you. There are many resources online, such as a BMI calculator, that allow you to adapt your routine specifically towards you and your personal needs and goals. And with working out, as always, consistency is key. So if you don't see results immediately, it's important to continue working towards your goals and eventually you will reach them. The best part about being active and maintaining your physical health is that it does not cost any money. You don't need any fancy equipment to get started with working out. All you need is a little bit of time and dedication. All in all, it's clear that working out and keeping yourself in shape is a net positive and should become a crucial part of everyone's weekly routine. The following footage is a collection of guys from the football team working out. This is Xavier squatting using the proper equipment on a squat rack, 
repping 225 for multiple reps. This is a very good amount of weight, so if you're starting, I would not recommend to use this much as it is pretty high. Squatting works out many muscles in your leg, but more specifically the quads get a lot of focus in this exercise. This lift is essential for building explosiveness and strength in your lower half. This is Kendrick performing a bench press. He's using 135 pounds and he's pressing it up in the air repeatedly for reps that are quick and explosive. This exercise works out specifically your chest but also your biceps and partial. This is Xavier performing a deadlift. He's using about 160 pounds and this exercise specifically works out your lower back and your shoulder muscles. This exercise is one of the best for building explosiveness in your whole body as it reuses your whole body to do. This has been the benefits of working out narrated by Evan Texera. Thank you very much for watching.